watching Soda City Living. We love highlighting local restaurants here on Soda City Living. You can usually find us out and about visiting different restaurants, but today we're hosting one of our favorite restaurants here in studio. Joining us now is Chef Jeff, the head chef from Pita's. Thanks so much for being with us. Absolutely, thank you. So tell us what we've got in front of us here, especially these beautiful dishes right here. Uh, well, we've got some uh, specials that we're going to be running this week. Um, this is going to be an appetizer. It's a shank leash salad. It's a classic Lebanese um, salad. Here we have a harissa shrimp with quinoa, um, fennel, and oranges. And then our pistachio baklava. Wonderful. Can't wait to hear more about those. But I want to hear more about you and more about Pita. So how long have you been there? Oh, I've been at Pita's for about three years. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's been quite an experience. Uh, I come from uh, a lot of southern uh, food, so it was definitely a learning experience um, working with people who are from Lebanon uh, right. and uh, recipes that are, you know, grandma's recipes. Oh, and yeah. Um, very traditional. Yes, if you haven't been to Pita's, it's right downtown, very convenient location. It's fabulous, fabulous food. So how would you describe Pita's for someone who maybe has never been there? Uh, well, Mediterranean food uh, with Lebanese bent. Um, it's very fast, uh, but also very, very, very traditional and good. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lunch place, um, but we're also uh, open for dinner. And great baked goods, too. <laughs> yes, oh, thank you so much. Yes, yes. What's your favorite thing to cook? Uh, well, my favorite thing to eat is definitely the falafel. Okay. The falafel is the best that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And my favorite thing to cook, probably a little bit biased, but I, I do all the specials, so. Really? Right. Okay, so you're the expert when it comes to this special right here. And tell me the name again. Shankleesh. Shankleesh salad, yes. right? Yes, yes. So Shankleesh is a um, marinated, brined, hard sheep's cheese, a mm -hmm. feta, okay. usually. Um, and then it has some, some mix in. So we have uh, some za'atar seasoning, as well as some smoked paprika, and then some accoutrement. Awesome, yeah, so right here I see, is that cucumber? Yes. And then? Lettuce. Lettuce, well, that will be the base. Okay. It's a salad. Yep. Um, then we have some grape tomatoes, some scallions, some parsley, and then to finish, uh, some oregano oil, some sumac, and some pomegranate molasses. Oh my gosh, what interesting ingredients there. The oregano oil, I've never heard of that. And then pomegranate molasses. Right, right. Who knew? Uh, well, I took some elements that are classic uh, Mediterranean fare, like pomegranate molasses is something that and sumac also something that I'd never heard of before yeah. I started working at Pita's and now it's uh, something you work with all the time probably. Right, exactly. All right, so how do we get started on this salad? Well, we'll give it a little bit of a base here. Uh, some lettuce, a bowl, and then we're gonna mix up some stuff. I'm gonna get you to help out if you don't mind. Absolutely. So we'll put the cheese in there. Okay. And then take a little, uh, little handful of each of these. Okay. I like cucumber. Oh yeah. <laughs> I really like all of these ingredients. <laughs> you said that's parsley? Parsley, yes. Love parsley. I love that this is such a fresh salad too. Oh, yeah. Just like real good fresh ingredients. Okay. Not too heavy or anything. We'll give it a little mix. Okay. top and this is one thing that I love about Mediterranean style salads is there's a little bit of lettuce on the bottom and a lot of the really good toppings right. <laughs> and then we'll do some oregano oil mostly for flavor mm-hmm pomegranate molasses now is pomegranate molasses something that you buy or do you have to make it uh, you can make it, but we, we, we buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds pretty intense. Right. And then a little sumac. Love that color. Absolutely, That purple yeah. on top. Sumac is a very interesting um, spice. It's uh, sour, almost. Hmm. Um, I, 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 I love to put it on grilled onions, so it gives them a, sort of a pickled taste. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm sure that's got just a little sprinkle will will oh, be yeah. plenty. <laughs> well, what a beautiful salad. I love all of the colors that are going on. And of course, you said this is a special this week, right? Yes. So, so we'll, tell us a little bit more about those specials. Right. So we'll have um, 
some specials. We'll have this as an appetizer, and like I said, the harissa shrimp, mm -hmm. um, and then th uh, uh, three different bakabas. That one's the pistachio. Um, then we have walnut as well as cashew, and then another appetizer that we will have is the um, uh, it's lamb sweet potato kibbe, which is a um, with uh, we, what we do is we take sweet potatoes and roast them and then mix them with uh, bulgur wheat mm -hmm. um, and that makes a shell and then we stuff uh, lamb and onions and walnuts inside. Oh wow. And then kind of ball it up and then we'll fry it and serve that with a, um, a, a, a mint yogurt sauce. That sounds amazing. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. So you come up with the specials? Yes. Oh my gosh. You've got to be so creative for that, right? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> So tell us a little bit more about the flavors that go on in this entree right here. I know you said harissa or harissa, so yes. maybe a little spice. A little bit of spice, yes. Um, and then we've got the quinoa uh, on the bottom that's very basically seasoned with a bit of a vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. and then I have um, fresh fennel as well as pickled fennel. Um, and then some orange and the fennel and orange um, go very, very well together. Yeah, some sweet heat there. Right, right, right. I love that. Great idea. And then the dessert, I mean, you can't go wrong with a baklava. Absolutely. So we also have a grilled pistachio kofta skewer, um, and that's going to be served with a uh, charred scallion tabbouleh um, and with a sauce called zug, which is a spicy cilantro-based sauce. Ooh, that cilantro sounds good. Cilantro and jalapeno. So. Oh, yeah. So for someone who's never tried kofta before, what? how would you describe that? It's grilled, excuse me, it's ground lamb and beef um, with some seasonings in there. Uh, with this particular one, it's got garlic and parsley and a bit of cilantro and a paprika, smoked paprika. So if someone's never tried Mediterranean food or they're kind of new to it, why should they come in and try these specials? What I like to do is, um, since I have a background in mostly southern food, I like to do a bit of a fusion um, with some of the elements that I've learned over the years uh, uh, as far as southern food and Mediterranean food. Um, and I, I try to implement that um, with my specials. Amazing. Um, so everybody can look at something and be like, oh, that's, that's, uh, that, I know that, and that sounds very interesting. So. Yeah. So little a different take on some classic dishes, um, always something new to try. That's what I love about pitas, and it's such a bustling place, especially during lunch, like you said. Yes, very busy. Yes, thank you so much, Chef Jeff, for coming in and showing us all of these wonderful specials.